wow. This weapon will require two tax stamps, one for the can, the other because it is a short barrel rifle. It is a eight inch barrel measuring from here to here. Outstanding. Well, I look forward to the process. Welcome back to my channel. The Form 4. Yes, short barrel rifle, cans, other um, modifications you want to make to weapons. These are permissible. Um, it's not talked about that much. A lot of people say, well, I didn't know you could buy a suppressor. Well, first of all, let me address one thing. There's no such thing as a silencer. No such thing as a silencer. A lot of people watch too much television. There is a suppressor. Um, modern firearms that are sold with threaded barrels. Hey, those threads are on that barrel for a reason, people. With well, few exceptions, and when I say few exceptions... Every now and then, you might find someone that advertise a muzzle brake that screws on, but those threads are there for a reason, and these are sold this way from the factory. Okay, therefore, if they are sold that way to the general public, there must be a mechanism by obtaining them, and that's what we want to talk about. Um, it is the most stringent firearms background check that you can get in the United States today when you apply at a class three dealer for a suppressor or for short barrel rifle and so forth, the waiting time is just extreme. Anywhere on the short end for about five months, high end, a year's waiting period. So there's hundreds of thousands of people like me, we fill them out, mail them in, get in line, get in line. You wait that waiting period. I uh, want B A T F E approves. You get something back that looks like this. This is your tax stamp. It's an older one of mine. Comes back like that, and you keep it with that firearm forever. It is like a car title. And what you need to do is um, uh, follow all the BTA, B, ATF rules, E rules. They added that E since I became familiar with them back in the day. It used to be just B, A, T, F. Now it's E. Put the explosives on there. But what you need to do is get familiar with this. Really a not so difficult process to apply for these. And I'm doing, this is part one of a video where I'm walking you through um, day one of me on a new weapon, which is a Bulgarian AK-47 that is, it's got a eight inch barrel on it. So it requires with a buttstock, it requires a stamp for a short barrel rifle. In addition to that, it has a suppressor. So that's another stamp. So I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, we're going to go visit a dealer and see how this is done. But once they come back, we're going to do um, part two. It is August 1st, 2020. Let's see where we end up with the finished product. Thank you. I'm here at Jim's in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And what we're doing is um, we're gonna talk to one of the reps, Jesse. 
about the NFA process. <laughs> so uh, we're standing right here in front of our suppressor cabinet. Uh, Inventory is looking a little bit low right now. Normally we'd have a few other manufacturers, an example of a few other manufacturer suppressors here, but this is what we got right now. Pretty sizable inventory compared to some other places around town. Um, so I'm just going to briefly talk about the NFA approval process and how you would go about purchasing and getting your tax stamp approved by the ATF. Uh, so the, the process here is going to be a little different than you'll find it in some of your older gun shops and even some other gun shops here in town. Uh, so we have a silencer shop kiosk, which is just right over here to the right of our suppressor cabinet. Uh, the big deal with this, silencer shop kind of revolutionized the e-filing of your Form 4. Now it's not, strictly speaking, all going to be through the kiosk, but what this does is it allows us to keep all of your information on your, your Form 4 submission on this kiosk and file it digitally, which makes the, uh, the turnaround time just so much more straightforward and, and a lot easier overall. Uh, this prevents us from having to do anything on paper. You don't have to get fingerprint cards, no passport photos. It's all done entirely on this kiosk. So the, the, the process from beginning to end starts with the, the purchasing of a suppressor. So you do some research on your own or you can come and talk to any one of our salesmen and we can kind of get you outlined on a suppressor that can fit your application and, and do the best for you. So we'll pick out a suppressor, put some money down on it, and then we'll get you started on the kiosk. So that's just gonna be some fingerprints that we'll take. We'll get a photo of you. It's gonna ask you if you're a felon, some stuff like that. And then after that, we'll assign the suppressor to an account that you'll have made on the kiosk and that will start your wait time. The tax stamps right now are gonna run about $200 and the wait time is looking at about 10 to 12 months currently. Okay. Now, a lot of people, uh, a lot of the uh, subscribers out there weren't even aware of the uh, process and how you can actually buy these NFA items. So uh, that's what we decided to come in. And since I'm going through the process myself, I wanted to share it with my um, subscribers. And basically, um, also, we want to let them know that for each one of these items that you have to fill out and go through the process each time. That's correct. Yeah, all of these serialized items, it's going to be like a firearm. So you'd have to do a form for every firearm you buy. You have to do a form for for every suppressor you buy. And that requires an NFA approval for every single item that you purchase, which is what turns a lot of folks off. But it really isn't a problem. It's not a hassle with the kiosk. It makes it so much easier. Right. The, the biggest problem is the wait time. And um, I kind of sort of understand a portion of that wait time because you want to make sure you do a thorough, this is like the most thorough firearms uh, check in the United States that I know of. That's, Would you that's agree? Correct. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, this, is, this is one of the most thorough federal checks you can, you can go through. Okay. But really one of the main reasons it takes so long is just the amount of employees that do the checks and how many form submissions they get. There are only, the number is still correct from the last figure I got, there are only like 12 employees that do these for the, for the entire for the United entire States. country, yeah. So, so you got only a few people doing checks and a lot of form submissions. So that's, that's another uh, contributing factor as to why it takes so long. So you guys interested in going through this process to buy a suppressor? I'm doing it a double. I have to fill out one for my short barrel rifle and the suppressor. So uh, this is um, pretty much the process in a nutshell. Jesse, I want to thank you for taking Absolutely. your time. No and 